how much sun exposure might one need to get their target vitamin D level to that found associated with the lowest total mortality rate? Well, it depends. It depends on our age, how long we're exposed, the time of day, the time of year, our latitude, our skin color, our use of sunscreen, how much of our body we're exposing. Even in Boston, though, all it takes is 10 to 12 minutes of midday summer sun without sunblock if you're a young, pale, naked Caucasian. But then you're golden. Actually, you'd be a little pink. Note, though, if you're some old white guy prancing around naked on the commons, you're not gonna make it. As I hope you're beginning to appreciate, it's not easy to make a one-size-fits-all recommendation for how much sun exposure one might need. And low vitamin D status, despite abundant sun exposure, has been found even in the best of circumstances. Young, half-naked skateboarders in Honolulu, right, mostly Caucasian, averaging 30 hours of sun a week, and 51% didn't even make it to 30. If they can't, who can't? And these days, even if we're an albino nudist at the equator, how often might we be getting outside in the middle of the day with a desk job? So, if we're really interested in getting to the vitamin D level associated with the lowest mortality rates, and our lifestyle or latitude won't allow us the necessary sun exposure, then one needs to take vitamin D supplements. The, the piddly amount added to soy milk, calf milk, margarine, or mushrooms would simply not be enough.